Good morning, everybody. Boomer is sleeping in my bedroom, so I've got Mojo just all over me right now. Isn't that right, Mojo? Mojo's missing mommy so much that she's uh, coming out and climbing all over me because um, she usually stays away from me, mainly because of uh, Boomer. But when Boomer's not around, isn't that right? <sighs> Good morning, everybody. I hope everybody's having a wonderful Wednesday morning. It's a beautiful day out here right now. I'm supposed to get a high 80s again today. So, I stole another one of my mother's dresses. Kevin is mailing me some of mine so I can uh, dress a little cooler but I had a fun morning uh, it starts at 6 where I get up and give my dad his first meds then at 8 and then it was a little after 8 he started getting nauseous so Instead of waiting for 10 to give him his nausea medication, I gave it to him at 8.22. And then at 10, he got his bone pain pill. And then he was up and on the toilet and everything and still hasn't had a bowel movement. But he wanted to try. Drink some magnesium citrate hasn't moved them yet but meanwhile while my mom was helping him do a lot of that stuff I came out here in the yard front yard and backyard and cleaned up all the doggy do and all the trash that was over there which is where the over there which is where the trampoline was now we got all the great grandkids coming this weekend and they are gonna want to play on the trampoline so my mom wanted to move the trampoline closer to the patio here so the kids can come right on to the patio and then get right into the trampoline so it got moved from there to there. It's not level, so it still needs to be moved a little bit. Guess who moved it? Yeah, me. And I couldn't get it level because my mom and dad caught, well, my mom caught me moving it and yelled at me because I was moving it all by myself. They're heavy. But I wasn't just like moving it, I was walking it. I moved part, then I came around and moved the other side. Then I moved the one side, and then I came around and moved the other side. So I was walking it. I wasn't like just pulling it or pushing it. I was walking it. But they all yelled at me. And then I told Michelle what I did, and she yelled at me. Or she agreed with my parents. And I told Angie. And she also agreed with my parents. I shouldn't have been moving it. So they won't let me straighten it out and put it on level ground, and they won't let me get it set up right for the kids. They're gonna, they want me to wait for the guys to come over to do that. So, anyway. So my dad has now had morphine. Two dex uh, something or other, which is the bone medication pill, and two Dilaudid, and that's been since eight o'clock this morning. Yeah, <clears throat> and it's.
a little after 12, I believe. So. And the pain is about a level eight and climbing. They gotta get this pain under control. They're talking about methadone which is something they usually bring on towards the very end. We're not quite there yet, I don't think. I know this is moving very, very fast. This is a fast spreading cancer. But I don't think it's to that point quite yet. At least I hope not, because <laughs> my sister, my other sister can't get here till April 9th, so. Anyway, got a few phone calls I have to make. There's a few people that may not know, and he has mentioned he'd like to speak to them. So I got a few phone calls I need to make so that he can talk to a few people. Anyway. That's what we're gonna do. I think I am going to relax for a little bit and do some coloring today. A little later I'll get back on to doing some more YouTube stuff, but with so much going through my head and everything and while he's awake, it's a little difficult to do the YouTube stuff. Um, because I'm constantly up and down with him, so um, under this much stress, it's just easier for me if I can just color for a little while. <laughs> so I color, and then I'll go back to doing comments and watching videos a little later. See you guys then. Okay, so it's going to be kind of an odd day today. Um, we're going to be going over evidence again and uh, did a better job of clearing the room. The room is uh, much more clear now. Uh, I'm sure Val's going to be angry with me after I told her I put all our clothes away. So that's going to be fun when that happens. And doing more laundry as usual. There's this huge pile that showed up in here. It's mostly curtains and blankets and sheets that were in Megan's room. But I need to wash it and find a place for it. And it is bright, sunny, not just warm, but hot day. It is hot. And uh, it's about 88 degrees. According to the weather app, it's not going to be any higher than 88, but I got a feeling it's probably going to hit 90 before the day's up. It's still a beautiful day. The birds are screaming. Uh, my weeds are growing. <sighs> and that's about all that's going on. Um, going over some uh, evidence in the Joshua tree. We just hit something here. That's kind of interesting. And we're using our software to isolate different sounds. And uh, we got something kind of interesting here. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to give you a, a little preview. Is there anything here we should be afraid of? Is there anything here we should be afraid of? So, it takes a long time, but there's a lot of interesting stuff going on here. Okay, as another day comes to the end, I'll have to say good night to everybody and thank everybody for their
prayers and wishes and everything in hopes that I get a little bit of better. <laughs> all right, thank you all and good night. Well, everybody, so that brings today to an end and we shall see you all tomorrow. If you like this video, please give us a great big thumbs up. Thumbs up, Pa! And if you have not already done so, please press that little red subscribe button down below and help your neighborhood community to grow. And share this video with absolutely everybody you know. Bye, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.